I mean, there are a lot of groups that are spending money. A lot of money is being spent both on the left and right by wealthy individuals who are trying to influence the course of these elections. There has been a huge increase in the amount of money that's spent in all these elections the, uh, in the past couple of cycles. The most important thing it is, is not so much the money, amount of money that's being spent, but the fewer and fewer people who are the ones that are spending. There's a tremendous amount of outside money being spent on this election, and it only increases each cycle. The vast majority of that money is coming from art, outside groups, dark money groups who don't have to disclose their donors, and this of course has to do with the fact that the U.S. has loosened its campaign finance laws significantly in recent years. There are what are called political action committees, which are basically money that are spent on candidates. And then there are things called super PACs, which, which we refer to in the United States as outside money. You can't directly fund candidates, but you can put up advertisements about issues, uh, about uh, positions on the hot issues of the day, whether that is healthcare or the environment or the economy. Obama economics, it didn't work then and it won't work now. Our rules now in the United States allow billionaires and our super, super rich to pour basically unlimited sums into these elections. And so what you have, uh, the worry is, you have this election that becomes a proxy between Republican billionaires and Democratic billionaires. And the real question is, where does that leave the average American? Republicans tend to benefit more from the outside groups because they have uh, larger donors who are able to funnel money into their campaigns through those outside mechanisms. And of course the campaigns have done a fair bit of fundraising themselves. The president has been touring the country trying to raise money for the party primarily so that he can try and hold on to this Senate majority. They've pinpointed which states will be the ones where it truly comes down to the wire and are spending the maximum amount of, of money on those states in the hopes that that will be the determining factor.